In Chapter 7, we discover the divertahedron, a figure that contains a tetrahedron and a octahedron, whose side measures have the tetrahedrons. And it also contains six octahedra, whose side measure 1 divided by 2 multiplied by 5. We also discovered that the tetrahedron and the octahedron are two platonic solids. The first one to mention the five platonic solids was the Greek philosopher Plato in 360 BC in his mathematical dialogue Timaeus. The first platonic solid is the tetrahedron. It has four faces of an equilateral triangle. The second platonic solid is the hexahedron or cube. It has six faces that are squares. The third platonic solid is the octahedron. It has eight faces that are equilateral triangles. The fourth platonic solid is the dodecahedron. It has 12 faces that are pentagons. And the last one is the icosahedron. It has 20 faces that are equilateral triangles. Using golden sandbanks and their short and long parts, we can build a peculiar construction. Linking its vertices in a specific way, endodicahedron can be constructed. If we build a different construction with the same golden pieces and link the vertex again, a icosahedron is obtained. And joining both constructions, we can see the close relation between the dodecahedron and the icosahedron. The ratio of the side length is the golden ratio, and they are both built using golden sandals. The same thing happens between the tetrahedron and the six small octahedra of the divertahedron. 